The Case CX240B is a material handling machine and it weighs around 28 tonnes. This version of the model is in the colours of Habo, which is a Dutch maritime services company. It comes in the usual style of Conrad box, and inside the packaging is also standard for Conrad with some foam backed cardboard. Inside there's the model and a bag containing a couple of mirrors. There are no instructions provided for fitting the two mirrors. But it's fairly obvious that one of them clips into the edge of the cab guard and it only takes a little bit of positioning to get it to look reasonable. The mirrors are plastic but sadly they don't have silvered surfaces. For the other mirror, well the only obvious place to fit it is onto the handrail. Looking underneath the model is very simple but the crawler tracks are metal and look quite good. And they're mounted on simple track frames which don't have working rollers. The cab appears to have plastic sides which probably accounts for a slight colour mismatch with the metal parts. The interior is simple but the cab guard gives it an interesting look. The Habo colour scheme is attractive and the quality of the graphics is very good, they're both small and sharp. There's a metal handrail on the side and the colour match of the hydraulic rams is good. Details on top are fairly simple and are a little bit lost in the paint finish. And there's a plastic access ladder on the cab elevator. There is some detailing of the hydraulics on the boom and stick, and pipework forms part of the casting. The sorting grab is a mix of metal and plastic parts, but it looks good. One question we're often asked at Cranes Etc is how do we select our team members? Well, as part of an extensive selection process, we line them up and grab who we want. Moving out into the test area and the tracks can't bite on a smooth surface, but they seem to laugh about it. The tracks can be moved by hand and they roll easily enough. As always let's quickly add some rough terrain, and then the crawler tracks can bite and they roll along just fine. The model features the elevating cab of the real machine, and it seems to operate by just the touch of a finger. Moving on, what's yellow and goes round and round? Well it's a banana on a roulette wheel. And the Hebo also does a good job of turning it smooth without any rocking. Next up is the main material handling functions using the boom and stick. And the range of movement is very good because firstly the grab can be brought right in close to the machine. Or if you prefer to reach out then you can go to the maximum. And it's good to see that the model remains stable. However at the maximum the main boom rams just start to bleed down a bit. But for the most part the rams are stiff enough to hold any pose that you might want to set. Opened right up, the model does get quite large, but how does it do when it's folded up small? Well, this is always a good test for a materials handler, and this one passes because it's small enough to be a transport load. Lastly, let's have a look at the grab and it rotates freely, and it's nice to see that the two sides open and close together. This version in Habo colours is certainly attractive, even if it's not the most detailed model. But it does have Conrad's hallmarks of strength and robustness, and the features of the model work well too. As a limited edition model, it is recommended.